It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. Just wrapping up Mike Zimmer's press conference. Uh, before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I mean, come on, let's let's go through these last 10 games together. Subscribe to the channel, like the videos. We're here every damn day talking Vikings, but let's get into Mike Zimmer's press conference as expected. Wasn't the most uplifting thing you've ever seen. Um, I wouldn't say he was mad. I would say a little bit defeated um, and which he should have been after losing to an 0-5 Atlanta Falcons team. But uh, let's just go to some of the highlights. It was pretty short and sweet. I think the reporters are a little bit gun shy to really dive in because this one was really, really painful, obviously. Um, one thing he said, he says, we got to fix it. Um, fix what? I mean, it, it's too late to fix anything. I mean, if he's talking about fixing something, hopefully he means fixing it for the future um, because at one in five and losing to the 0 and 5 Falcons, there's nothing to fix here. Um, unless you're looking for years ahead. Uh, they did ask, any thought of making a change of quarterback? And I will say he just said no. And that was about the most, um, I believed him. Let's just say that. No, simple no, nothing else. Didn't elaborate, no. So, I mean, and that's the right answer. Why, why would he make a change? What's he going to put Sean Mannion in? Sean Mannion is not a young buck at all. He's not a guy that you're going to be looking to see what he has for the future. Um, we have two young guys on the practice squad that have no right playing quarterback in the NFL right now. So Kirk Cousins, barring an injury, he will be our quarterback going ahead. Um, Sean Mannion will not be seeing the field. So I'm actually glad he said no. Um, he, he obviously said, you know, they didn't play very well. Um, he was at kind of a loss. Uh, someone actually asked him, are you at a loss as far as what went wrong? And uh, he just he just kind of talked about some of the things that didn't go right, just as far as we, we they couldn't run the ball. They didn't run the ball much. Um, the, the young corners didn't challenge the receivers. He said the onside kick was terrible. He even pointed that out. But at that point, it wouldn't have mattered if it wasn't terrible. The game was over. Uh, as far as Gladney and Danzler, which is always a hot topic every week in the press conference, he still, I mean, he, he, he said they had a rough game, which they did. Um, going against those three receivers, it's kind of tough to, to really show up and um, shut down those guys, especially when they're, when they're this young into their careers. He, he obviously, said, obviously said, you know, they're still going to be good players, which they are, uh, but they're learning by fire, and they are. Um, these guys probably shouldn't have to see this much action as rookies, two of them, this, uh, this early in their career, so they are learning by fire. Um, uh, just as far as whether or not they're going to make any drastic major changes, which was another question. You just said, you know, we're going to think about that. we got to look at everything. Kind of a standard BS answer as, as far as I'm concerned. Um, absolutely, they need to make some big changes, whether that is just getting younger guys in uh, in the rotation. What's that? James Lynch, keeping Ezra Cleveland in there. Um, big drastic changes aren't going to turn this team around. It's more for the future. So we'll see what happens. They have a bye week coming up. Um, ideally, we see some goofy things going going on these next couple of weeks where uh, they're preparing for the future. Um, Ezra Cleveland, he asked, you know, how, how do you think he did? He said it was hard to tell. Inside guys during the game are hard to get a read on. He could have threw him a bone there. Ezra Cleveland, I thought, did very, very well considering it was his first action, first start, and uh, going against a pretty good defensive tackle in Grady Jarrett. So uh, he just said he's going to have to look at the tape. And then um, they ended it with just, uh, unfortunately, we, we heard the, the passing of Sid Hartman. So uh, Mike Zimmer um, definitely gave his love to uh, Sid Hartman, their chats they had. So um, overall, just Mike Zimmer, very, very sad, as he should have been. And uh, check out our video coming up later tonight as far as whether Mike Zimmer should be on the hot seat. So check that out. But um, Mike Zimmer is not in a good mood heading into that bye.